Hey everyone, we're back with another Orca Torch product review. Today we're reviewing the DC 710 flashlight. Um, and if you remember our last videos, we reviewed the D710. Um, and this one is kind of like the upgraded version, in my opinion, to the uh, other one that we reviewed. Um, there's a few key benefits that we'll go over. Um, but relatively, in terms of the light itself, both are the same lumens, they both have the same settings and modes, um, both roughly the same size. Uh, the only difference here is the length is a little bit longer on the D710, um, and it is a little bit uh, thicker and weighs a little bit more, um, which isn't a deal breaker um, in my opinion. We'll go over some of the benefits that I think make this flashlight the perfect primary flashlight for you. Um, you can charge the battery between dies just by unscrewing the middle section here, which reveals an O-ring um, and the USB-C port. So you have the O-ring that protects you from water when you're diving, um, and the USB-C port can easily be made to charge uh, the flashlight. Just remember when you're done diving, seal it back up so no water gets into the light itself. If you want to replace the battery, uh, you can replace the battery just by unscrewing the end cap here. Easily unscrews and you can swap batteries in and out. Um, the D710, uh, there is no external charging port, so we have to unscrew the flashlight from the middle here, and that's how the battery comes out. And these are what those batteries look like, and you just have to charge them with the USB-C port that is built into the battery itself and then swap them into the flashlight. Not a big deal, but for convenience sake, this one definitely wins in my opinion, especially being able to open up this and charge the flashlights like that. Uh, another benefit is the this one comes with the wrist mount, the hand mount. Uh, which is amazing. I used it on my last dive, and I really, really like it. Um, allows me to go hands-free, have both my hands working, and still have a flashlight. Um, I did use a bolt snap on the end. I like to have the bolt snap just in case I want to slide my hand out and then clip it off on a BC somewhere. Um, just extra security. Most of the time, I did use the hand mount. Um, my only concern with the hand mount is it is a little bit too big. Um, I have a smaller hand, so it does create like a little bit of a wiggle. Um, I was wearing a dry glove, which it fit a little more snug, but I think the hand strap itself still did not tighten enough to where I felt it was really secure. Um, not a big deal. I could always uh, make it tighter and whatnot and find a way to make it tighter. I think it is worth it because it is very comfortable and I do like having it on my hand instead of having to hold it the whole time. Uh, it does come with the case that we know Orca Torch for. Uh, very secure, sturdy case, padded on the inside, comes with the extra battery, the flashlight, comes with the uh, hand mount. Uh, it also comes with the warranty card. Uh, some quick tips, the user manual, uh, comes with a product brochure for Orca Torch to show off all their other cool products. Um, it comes with the USB-C charger. Um, it comes with the hand strap, um, the wrist strap rather, where you just um, put it on your wrist and you can tighten it and then tie off the flashlight to the cord that's provided. Um, I don't like using these because I prefer the bolt snap method instead, um, and I also like the hand mount on this one, so I didn't find a need for this. Um, it also comes with some extra O-rings as well, and it comes with some tools. It comes with the Allen wrench uh, and some screws, um, and if we take a look in here, you can just see that you could easily take the flashlight um, off and on the mount just by using the allen wrench provided and then there's some couple screws in there to unscrew it from the mount 
Uh, that's how it stays on there. It's very, very well mounted to the hand strap, so you don't have to worry about it breaking off from the hand strap. Take a look at the uh, settings real fast. We have the high setting, which is 1700 lumens. The medium setting, which is 800 lumens. And the low setting, which is 400 lumens. There is a turbo mode. Uh, which you get by just pressing the button and then you hold it down. That's giving us the full 3000 lumens. Uh, so it's very bright. On the highest setting, um, which is the 1700 lumens, you're getting about an hour and 40 minutes um, between battery life. And then if you have the lowest setting, you have all the way up to just about eight hours almost. So a lot of battery life. And then of course, again, you could charge it between dives with the charging port that's built on the flashlight or just swap out the battery with the second battery that they include in the pack. Really, it is a great flashlight. I have now used this. I'll be switching to this as my primary flashlight. My old primary flashlight, which is the D710, is now becoming my backup flashlight, uh, which I'll just bolt snap or stick in a pocket somewhere. So really, both great flashlights. Um, I prefer the extra benefits of the DC710, um, mainly the hand strap. I really love the hand strap, the mount, um, especially over my dry gloves. It's just, it's just comfortable and I'm hands-free when I'm working around and uh, using the flashlight. Um, I did film some video footage um, from the quarry dives that I did with it last weekend. Um, the quarry that we dive in is not the brightest, not the clearest water, um, but it is good for testing flashlights out, so you guys will get to uh, see that footage coming up here. Really great flashlight, definitely recommend checking it out, guys. Stick around for the test footage. Thank <laughs> you. 